Yes, sir. Awesome. Thank you for spending a few minutes with us today. And uh, guys, we'll go right into questions for linebacker Avery Huff. Uh, if you've got a question, please use the hand raise function. Uh, Avery, we're going to start with David Lake from 24-7. David? Hey, Avery. Um, wanted to ask you, in, in your mind, you know, it seems like you've taken a jump this spring, according to what the coaches have been telling us. In your mind, what, what's been holding you back from getting on the field in a large role to this point? What are you trying to show the coaches this spring? Um, I'm just trying to show everybody that um, they could depend on me. I feel like um, I feel like what hold me back was um, me just trying to me understanding exactly how the coaches want me to play, and just getting used to how how they want me to play it at the new at the new at the new level. Um, but now that I got a good understanding of it, I feel like the sky's the limit. The team's looking scary this year, man. <laughs> All right, Avant uh, Avery. I'm sorry. We're gonna go to Barry Jackson at the Miami Herald. Barry. Hi, Avery. We know how physically gifted you are. How would you describe what you do well uh, as a linebacker? What, what what are your strengths, be it in the run game, be it pass rush? Um, how would you describe it? I feel like I provide that extra person. You know Avery Huff. If it's a run, you know Avery Huff has evolved with it. It's never like no second guessing or no wearing. You know I'm coming and I'm filling the hole, whatever I got to do. And how are you? How's your game in coverage right now? Obviously, which is important for for linebackers here and, and anywhere in the modern college football game. Um, me personally, I say I'm a good cover as well. Uh, I I have a lot of experience covering receivers. At the same time, I got a lot of experience blitzing, so I consider myself a dual threat. Honestly, thank you. Awesome, Avery. We got a few more for you. We're going to go to Matt Schildell at Kingsport, Matt. Yeah, hey, Avery. Um, I was curious, can you sort of tell us about some of your weight room gains this offseason? Obviously, between year one and year two, there, there can be some big differences and you sort of have goals to reach. How, how have you done achieving those? My ultimate goal I'm trying to reach is 220. It's just been on and off, on and off. I've been The highest I reached was like 215 at one point in time, but I lost it, but I gained it right back. Just I got to work on the weight room staff and the nutrition staff. I did a good job with helping me getting better at, like, maintaining the weight. Uh, right now, I'm probably, like, 211. I'm getting better at maintaining it and just adding on instead of just losing it. Getting better and better. Avery, we've got Manny Navarro from The Athletic. Manny? Hey, Avery, how are you? How you doing? Hey, so Coach Diaz and, and even Coach Baker last year when he was here talked about how, you know, you, you needed to, I guess, get better at recognizing, you know, which gaps to fill and, um, you know, just from a linebacker perspective, can you talk about that process of, of studying, uh, you know, where to read the gaps and, and how to hit them and fill them and, and where you think you are in your progress with that? Um, as far as my progress, I feel like I got it. I feel like I got it right now. But the hardest part I had to overcome was just understanding that, you feel me, um, that I'm wrong and understanding how I got to understand I had to just really understand how they wanted me to play it and see it how they had to see it instead of trying to see it from how I was seeing it through it, through it like a high school athlete point of view. I had to really sit back and be coachable. All right, Avery, three more for you. We're going to go first to Susan Miller-Degnan at the Herald. Susan? Hey, hi, Avery. How are you? How are you doing? I'm good. Uh, this, the spring game's coming up. Um, what are you thinking about? What are your goals in that spring game? What do you imagine it to be like, you know, and do you think it helps being on TV psychologically? Me, man, I'm not a really bad media person. I ain't, I don't really buy into all the hype, all the attention. I be trying, I be more focused on the S and the O's. So, um, I guess it's a benefit that it's on TV, but at the same time, we got to stay locked in. We got to focus up because we got a big game. We got a big season in front of us. A lot of guys ain't come back, you feel me, just to look good on TV. We got to focus up. We got to make sure we got all our S and O's and make sure everybody locked in. Awesome. Two more for you, Avery. We're going to go first to David Ferrones at the Sun Sentinel. David? 
Hey, Avria, in what area of your game do you feel you made the biggest strides in the past two years, uh, first academic redshirt and then as a reserve last year? And also, how much have you worked with the first team of the spring? Um, I feel like I made strides. Uh, I could say I'm a blitzing. Um, I be working with the D. Um, I don't work with them, but I'm friends with the D line. Some D linemen, and they I be learning some of their techniques, and they help me on my blitzes. I got better at pass rushing. I know a lot of I know a lot of something something. And um, I've been working with the ones. Um, I've been rotating with the ones uh, a lot this spring. Mostly with the tools, though, but I've been rotating with the ones a lot. Awesome. Last one for Avery. We got Chris Stock from inside the U. Chris? Yeah, Avery, we've um, heard your your production in the scrimmages, you know, your tackle numbers. I was curious if you could say, like, how you thought they've gone, the scrimmages thus far. And then also, are there can you pinpoint maybe a play or two that you felt like really good uh, during those scrimmages, that a play that you made or anything like that? Um, just last scrimmage or both scrimmage? Which one do you prefer? Yeah, both scrimmages, whatever you'd like to ex explain. Um, so in the second scrimmage, this is my favorite play because it's a physical play. Um, it was like a rock, and I just hit right up the A gap. I seen the play um, involved, like developing, and I hit it. I hit the A gap before the uh, O line that was pulling, even get the chance to pull all the way. And made a big. I caused the tackle for loss. It was just beautiful in my eyes, honestly. And then I could see another play. Um, same scrimmage, another play. I messed up on a um. I messed up. I was supposed to stay attached to the tight end, but I seen the I seen the quarterback, and I tried to get the sack, being too greedy. I recovered my steps. The quarterback threw the ball to the tight end, recovered my steps, and made the tackle. Tried to strip it out, but I couldn't. Five yard game, but I like plays like that because you gotta work harder. You put in a disadvantage, and you gotta work it. Work, you feel me? Work your way out of it. Awesome, Avery. Thank you very much for spending a few minutes with us today. I'm sure we'll be talking to you soon. Thank you. Have a good day. You as well. Thank you.